Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller. Today we are headed to a clothing sale. Um, this is at the church. I went to the hard goods sale last summer. I actually went twice. I actually went more than twice, but I think I did two videos on it. But um, yeah, they do a hard goods sale, they do a children's sale, and then they do a clothing and shoe sale. So they have three different sales a year. And they usually run for about a month at a time because they keep getting donations. But this is the first day of the sale. So I'm gonna go check it out. Never been to their clothing sale. So I'm gonna go check it out and see if I can find anything good. Let's go. All right, it doesn't look like there's too many people here. There's like three cars in the lot so far, but more are coming in. They've just opened at nine o'clock. It is nine o'clock on the dot. I wanted to get here a little bit earlier, but that did not happen today. So let's go see what we can find. I want to go check out the shoes first. six dollars they're not even bad they're in like really good condition in their newer style this is like Merrell's as well i don't see Shasta. oh no there's kush brand <gasps> I'm kind of regretting not bringing my second IKEA bag in. I think I might need it. Doc Martens. <clears throat> I wonder if they have extra bags in here. Mizuno. These are actually pretty nice. Good too. Um, 
those. Oh, those are cute. Those are super cute. Digging through the purses. Feels like a nice letter. Oh, it's got some marks though. I have a cart now. I filled up my bag with shoes, which I'll show you guys all of them later. I did grab one of these sack root bags already. It's in my cart. What is this? Oh, Charming Charlie. Uh, I still have a thing of purses at home that need to be listed. I did get this Vera Bradley. It's a little pricey. But it's in great condition and it's got a wallet with it. So that's kind of like a bonus. Ooh, how to get my cart in here? <laughs> I guess just like that. Yeah. Right. There's lots of people in those aisles, so you can't really get there. This place is huge. Oh my God, I don't even know where to begin. Like, look at this. Alright, maybe the plus size. I have to check my price list. This is the price list. So, I don't. Oh, shirts, $3. So that would be this rack. Alright, right off the bat, that's decent. Well, it would have been, but it's got crap all over it. <laughs> I don't know if that'll come out. Susan Graver. It does well for me. I mean, not a super crazy amount, but... <sighs> this is kind of nice. I bet you that would actually sell pretty well. I don't want to grab too many clothes. But some. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start going through this haul with you. I didn't wanna film a whole lot there because a lot of people just don't really wanna just look at a pile of clothes and shoes. But today was a shoe and clothing day, more like a shoe day, but anyhow, this is what I got. So I spent a total of $320 at this sale. A lot of the, a lot of the stuff almost all of the stuff is priced up at this sale. But I think I'm gonna make a really good return on it anyway. So let's just get into what, what I got. I am sitting here in my jacket. I'm cold. It's, I think, around 14 degrees out. It could be lower right now. Check my watch. 18, oh, it's 18 degrees out. Well, that's still super cold. I have the heat on in here, but I just can't seem to get warm so I am keeping my jacket on. I'm also tired. It's been a long day. I went to several thrift stores after I went to this sale today. I need to eat dinner but I want to start processing this stuff so I wanted to get the, the haul filmed. So let's go. All right so I'll just go through some of these shoes real quick. Size 8 was the size. I'll tell you I found a lot of shoes in size 8 that 
were brand new or are brand new. All right, so I got these Bionics. These have absolutely no signs of wear. I'm sure these are a size eight. They are. These are a size eight. This this size eight person who donated these um, must have just purchased a lot of shoes and not worn them all. So anyway, I started already detagging some of these. So like I said, I'm not gonna go through individual prices, but a lot of the shoes, they basically ranged from $5 to I think $12 was the highest I paid for a pair of shoes. Um, but I did pay 12 for several pair. I paid 10, I paid seven, six. So yeah, but like I said, spent a total of 320. All right, so then I got a pair of these Merrells. These are also a size eight. These do not look like they have ever been worn. So I got them in this color and then the same pair in black, which was actually funny. Well, I think they're almost the same. They look like they are, but the insoles are a little bit different, but they were also priced differently, which is weird because they were the, they're the same pair of shoes. Then I got these Elite by Corky's. I thought these were really cute. I mean, I would never wear them, but like I would, I love to sell them like these funky, funky kind of shoes. And these are, excuse me. Uh, these are a size eight as well. A pair of Bionics, these look gently used. Um, let's see here. These are a size seven. I picked up these Nikes. I thought they looked like they were in really good condition. Thought they were like gently used. I do notice now after I got them home and got them out of the bag, they have some kind of a marking like on the back part. I don't know what that is. And it's weird because otherwise like they look, they look really good. These are an eight and a half. I picked these men's ultra, which is A-L-T-R-A. And these are like a cross training shoe size, 11 and a half these should bring about $45 so that was a pretty good find uh yeah and then I got these purple bionics these don't look like they've ever been worn either these usually sell I don't know on average I would say about probably $30 um some of them more some of them less uh these dance goes look fantastic they're a size 39 which is i think in dance go size it's like a nine and a half ten or a nine ten or a nine nine and a half i don't know dance goes don't follow that regular european to u.s size thing but anyway these are in fantastic condition um they're a newer style i'm actually pretty sure i sold that style before these are a pair of Doc Martens, like a kilty kind of sling bag. Oh, I don't know. Have to look that one up. Those are a size eight. Valentine. Are they a women's eight? They look kind of big. I don't know. All right. I picked up these Toms size A as well. These look like they've been gently used. They're a really nice color though. And then these Toms are also a, these do not look like they've been worn at all. They still have like the little cardboard insert. I like these. I like these a lot. These actually have a little tiny surface mark though. These, these are really cool. I'm just like, I tried these on and I just, I don't know. I can't, if that, if that little like back lip thing wasn't there, I would wear them, but that like bothers me. It like hits my heel and just like, I don't know. And I feel like these would be the same way, but they are super cute. All right, so I went through all the ones on the table. I still have more in the bag that I haven't gotten out yet. I got a lot of shoes, holy moly. I'm going to just try to lift this bag up on the table. And go through the rest of these real quick. All right, so I got these Andrew Weil, I guess, W-E-I-L. This is the same man who made the Bionics, I believe, Dr. Andrew Weil. Wheel, Weil. I don't know, these are like a, um, like a boiled wool kind of, and these look like fantastic. Like these really don't look like they've ever been used. These should definitely sell for around maybe 35. 
$35. These are a new AHNU and that is made by, I feel like that might be made by the New Balance Company. I might be thinking of another brand. I don't know. These are kind of tied together. How much did I pay? These were $7, but these are like, these are like brand new. Um, just kind of like closed toe, which is weird because even though they're closed toe, they have like a thong, a thong toe thingy in the middle. I don't know. I didn't get to unbagging all of these. Here's a pair of, what size are those? Eight. Again, eight. Unworn. This is another pair of Merrells. These do not look no, these don't look like they're, they've been worn either. These brown kind of mules. This is a pair of Piccolinos. We'll see how they do. I mean, Piccolinos sit for me for a while, it seems. These are like a pointed toe. I don't know what's going on with the bottoms, but kind of funky. Pointed toe shoe, these. These are made in Spain, but what size are they? Oh, a 37, so probably like a US 7. I don't know, they don't look like a 6. All right, then I picked up the Alegrias. These are really cool. These look also brand new, $12. I mean, these are definitely new. Kind of like a woven, woven kind of pattern. Um, these are JBU, which is Jambu, um, or by Jambu, again, yeah, I don't know, these, these might have been worn and just the inserts were put back in them, but like very gently worn, if they've been worn at all, I'm running out of room here, uh, these, not, oh, not, oh, I think that's how you say it. These are like, these babies are like mint. I mean, they're really, really great condition. And these were only priced $6, what the heck? And they're another size eight. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking the woman who donated all these eights just like loved to purchase shoes, but didn't love to wear them. Here's another pair of the Dr. Weil however you say that. I know someone's going to let me know. So another pair of those, a pair of slingbacks, got my pile of shoes here. Uh, then I picked up these, um, these actually look also new, a pair of fit flops. They had two pair there. The one pair was actually pretty worn, so I skipped out on that. I'm trying to see what size these are. Oh, an eight. Surprise, surprise. All right, I'm gonna put those back in the bag. Then I picked up these Keens. Also look like they are in fantastic condition. I am gonna guess that these are a size eight. They're not, they're a seven and a half. And then I think we have two more pair here and then we're done. So these are Merrells as well, still with the tags on although there is a little bit of dust inside the heel here. These, I'm gonna, these have the inserts, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess. Eight, <laughs> they're a size eight. They are a size eight. And the final pair of Merrells also with the tag, also a size eight. These look like they have some wear, but I think it's just from storage. So yeah, lots of good shoes in good sizes. Then I picked up a couple belts. Uh, couldn't help myself. This is a Brighton belt. And it is new with the tags. $54 price tag. Ooh, there goes my shoes. They're falling out. This one is Onyx by Brighton. Uh, I feel like this, I don't know, is that a men's? I'm not really sure, but also great condition. And then the last belt I got was a Cole Haan, kind of a nice, it's got a nice look to it. So that is my shoe haul and belt haul. So 
let me pack all this up real quick and then I will show you the bag of clothing, which isn't a whole lot, but hold on a minute. All right, I didn't even finish cleaning up these shoes. <laughs> but anyway, we'll start with the, the clothes here. Okay, so this I actually purchased for myself. This was the most expensive item that I bought. And I will tell you the price of this because I, well, I know it's right there. It's I paid $35 for this North Face jacket. But it is like brand new and it's got like that lining that zips out. It is super, super warm. And I just, I figured I'm not gonna find it in the store for $35. So I went ahead and bought that for myself. So that is a keeper. Alrighty, so then, what is this? No, this feels really heavy. It's got gloves in it. It's got some of these gloves in it. Can I find a $50 bill, please? <laughs> let me let me put in my request now. I don't really want the gloves. Let's find some money in here. Um, no, no money, unfortunately. So this is a Woman Within, which is a plus size brand. And, uh, it's a 3X jacket, so, and it's also got like a removable liner. It was, you know, it's four bucks. I said I wasn't gonna say the prices on everything, so I should just try to be consistent. Um, Cause I did tell you the whole total. Anyhow, 3X, is that what it is? It's a 3X, so I figured that was a good size jacket. Let me stop rambling here, I am. I am tired. This I thought was really cute. This is a black ribbit. So no like particular crazy brand. It came from Ross, but it is so unbelievably soft. It's a size medium. Just thought it was like a really cute kind of like a sweater jacket. Um, I got some jeans. Now, she was really kind of pricing these up, these American Eagles, which I normally don't like to pay a whole lot for them, but I think these are gonna sell pretty fast just because of the style. So I'm still gonna make, not a super profit, but I'm gonna make a profit. So these are a high rise jegging, super like distressed, but there's like a lining underneath it. So it's not actually going all the way through to show your skin. Um, I think these are gonna sell quick. So I picked those up. This is another pair of American Eagle. What are these? Oh, favorite boyfriend. But these are an 18 and the bigger sizes seem to, the bigger sizes seem to do, to do well or go a little quicker. I got a pair of J Jill denim kick flare. So like an ankle size eight. These do okay. These go from like, I don't know, 22 to $25 a pair on eBay. Here's also the same J. Jill and the same style. Uh, I picked up this Pure Jill, kind of like a um, windbreaker, but it's a size 4X. So that's why I grabbed that. All right, so this item is Forever 21, but I just could not leave it there. Like, I just couldn't you know me and the weird crap, right? Like, I'm always picking up the weird crap. This is a Cheetos <laughs> Flamin' Hot Crunchy Dress. Look at this thing. It's got like a little, a little Cheeto bag attached to it. <laughs> I could not leave this there. I'm like, I have to, I have to get this. I have to get this, so yeah. There it went in my cart. Alrighty, I don't know what size, it's Forever 21. It's a Forever 21 brand or whatever. So what size is this thing? Uh, a small, it's a size small. All right, oh, looks like I have more jeans. Oh, Lauren Conrad. I think I got these for myself to try on. Oh, look. I do have another pair of shoes in here, another pair of Merrells. Alrighty, then let's see here. I got 
this TC, it's from Nordstrom, TC Fine Shapewear. And I think it's an extra large. I got, how many of these did I get? One, two, three. Three of these, they're all new with tags. And then I got this Spanx Red Hot four in one top, or four tops in one. Reverse for V-neck or scoop or turn inside out for another color. Oh, it's got the black on the inside. All right, so this is more shapewear, new with tags. I got these Warner's Cool Collection, wire free with lift. Three bras. Three of them are, wait, did I get three? I thought I got four. I guess I only got three. Okay, two of one color, one of the other. Maybe I dropped one. I really thought I bought four of those. All right, this, this I picked up. You saw that in the video. This is just dress barn, but um, it's a 1X and it looks like something nice for summer and I think I'll be able to sell it. So they sell stuff like that. All right, one more belt. I have one more belt in here. This is a Brooks Brothers. It's like a purple animal print and it is tiny. It's a small. So we'll see how that does. This was cute and it was it was cheap. It's a White House Black Market clutch. It's cheaper than some of them anyway. And it does have the chain inside. It's got a couple light surface marks, but some of them I think I can clean up. And then this Le Sport Sack. This is a little tiny backpack, also very reasonably priced compared with some of the others. And this is the Sack Roots bag that I did pick up. I did leave one of them there, but I did pick this one up. It feels like it has something in it. Maybe this is my wad of cash. No, nope, not there. Keep digging. Ooh. <laughs> it's a maxi pad. Maxi pad, tissues, used tissues. Where's my wad of cash, guys? Come on, I'm due. I'm like, I'm way overdue. What the heck? All right. <laughs> so. Last item is this Vera Bradley bag, which I did kind of pay up for, but it looks like it's in really great condition. It looks like a newer pattern and it's got a wallet with it. So that pairing should do okay. Let me check, check the, I'm gonna check the pockets in all of these bags. You know what I did one time? Real quick story. I went to a yard sale and bought a bunch of purses, listed them, never looked through them. And then one day I got a letter in the mail with a gift card in it for Kohl's that apparently came out of the one purse. And the buyer was like, I found this in the purse you sold me, you know, I'm sorry, I didn't want to keep it. So, you know, you must have overlooked it, which yeah, I totally did, but it wasn't my gift card to begin with, but she sent it back to me and it had like $70 on it to Kohl's. So check the bag pockets, guys, check the bag pockets, the purse pockets, whatever you want to call it, check them. I'm still guilty of not always doing it, but, but check them. So you might find a maxi pad or a balled up tissue but hopefully you find gift cards or cash. All right, so that is everything I bought at the sale. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already, and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. And until next time, bye.